Hey, welcome YouTubers. Welcome to my channel, Mr. Reef Buster. Um, today we're gonna talk about my 45 gallon reef tank. Uh, it's been a while since I uploaded a video uh, covering this 45 gallon on my main, my main tank. Um, I've been pretty caught up with my Project Nano Reef um, tank, so I, I you know I had to get it up and running. So it, it took most of my attention for the past few weeks. So I have a, I haven't had the chance to um, you know give you guys an update on this tank main tank of mine. So today we're gonna go over a couple of things as to what's going on with this tank and what's coming in the future for it. A um, couple of things have happened since the last video. Um, my livestock have changed slightly. Um, as you can see, right now there's a yellow tang in there. So I recently uh, purchased this yellow tang. I originally had a yellow tang when I first started the tank. Um, unfortunately, for some reason, he died. Um, so I've been wanting to get him back uh, ever since. So about last month or so, no, I think about month, two months ago, I, a month and a half ago, I finally purchased this yellow tang. Uh, so now I think, you know, that I have the purple and the yellow tang again. My tank is complete. Um, however, there are some um, subtractions to this tank as well. Um, but we'll talk about that in a moment. I just want to show you guys the corals, how they're doing first. Um, as you can see, the mushroom, the mushroom island is um, it's spreading. I'm going to add some different colors to it. Um, the Xenia colonies, I have two of them. This one is the main one. It's doing really well. Um, I'm actually planning on fragging um, some of the colonies, Xenia colonies, from the right-hand side to my 10-gallon nano. The toadstool. He is almost double the size since I got him, and he is thriving. Look, look how beautiful he looks. He loves being in the center of the tank and getting all the attention, and the flow is just right for him. So here's that second colony of Xenia that I'm going to be fragging from my 10-gallon. And right behind him, you can see my long tentacle anemone. He moves around a lot. And here's a torch coral. Uh, he's fine. He, you know, He's satisfied where he is. It's right flow for him right position right lighting everything is good for him um what i wanted to show you guys is i've been having an aptasia issue on my tank um and they have they're starting to grow all over my tank and i want to have to start you know addressing this issue because you do not want aptasia to take control of your tanks um if you do you're gonna get in big trouble they will kill your corals uh, stop growth on certain corals, if not kill it. And this is what Aptasia looks like. Uh, just want to zoom in and show you guys, for those of you that don't know what Aptasia looks like. So it may look like a coral to you, but it's not. It is a very harmful pest on your tank. You want to get rid of it as soon as you notice it. Don't wait around. Um, I'll talk about the regimen I'm using to, you know, handle this Aptasia problem I'm having. Um, but before I do, I just want to show you, you know, talk about, go back to my livestock. So, as you can see, the purple pseudo is there, the black and white oscillaris is there, and there's only one chromis. The reason is that I had three chromis in there, two of them died. One of them was eaten by one of my snails, which my wife saw firsthand. So, if you guys know of snails eating smaller fishes, let me put it in the comments below because I've never had this issue. And I'm assuming the second one died the same way as well. So, there's only one chromis in there. I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm not going to mess around with this livestock. Five fish is enough. Having two tanks on a 45 gallon is a stretch as it is, but I can do it because I have a sump now. So, I'm good to go. So that's that about the livestock. I just wanted to finish talking about it. Um, and also, my tuxedo urchin died as well recently. I'm not sure why, so I have to replace him. And also, get a cleaner shrimp in here because I don't have a shrimp in here as well. So that's that's as far as the livestock and the invertebrates go. Um, let's get back to talking about this Aptasia problem um, that I'm having. And I've done a lot, a lot of research on it. And... What I'm going to be using is this product made by Red Sea. It's called Aptasia X. Uh, let's go up and I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys what the, uh, what the what it looks like. This way you have an idea as to if you were to look to purchase it, you know what to what to look for. So 
let's go up and uh, here where's the bottle right here so this is called Aptasia X it, it is you want to use this regimen as soon as you see the first bloom which I'm using right now and also I want to show you guys another product I'm using uh, is called Julian Sprung Sea Veggies It's a purple seaweed is perfect for tangs and angel fishes and more fish and parrot fish um, even even my ta even my clowns and my pseudo and my uh, chromis love nibbling on this thing so this is really good I've been using that for about two about two months now as well so that's that's it so far as far as this tank um i am i am planning on adding some more corals into it um but after i you know finish taking care of this um taking care of this aptasia issue on my tank if you have any more suggestions as to some other ways i can combat this if you have um had this issue in your tank leave a comments below let me know what other uh steps i could take to prevent this aptasia uh overgrowth on my tank i mean it's hard to spot them when they're small and, you know by the time they're big they're probably buttered off somewhere else especially if your tank has a lot of flow they will spread all over the tank very easily so that's what's happening on my tank right now they are everywhere so i have to just every week just look for them see where the new spots where the, the new spots they have sprouted up and my target kill them or you know apply the aptasia x and if you want to know about how to use the aptasia x i'm not going to show you guys on this video but there's plenty of videos on youtube that shows you how to use the aptasia x you know feel free to um educate yourself on that it's very simple you just take the aptasia x with a syringe and you top you know put it point it right at the mouth of the aptasia and you just you know put some aptasia x on their mouth so it closes their mouth so other than that guys that's it i mean the perimeters are perfectly fine i have been i've been doing a water change on this tank for a month now and all the perimeters are still perfectly fine and normal which i love i love having to do minimum maintenance on this tank um now once I start adding more corals into it, I probably might have to up the maintenance a little bit or as far as dosing goes, I might start dosing on this tank because right now I'm not dosing anything. There's just strictly water change and my sumpterfuge. I'm doing everything and my two protein skimmers. So that's it, guys, and hopefully you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment below. Until next time, peace out.